Welcome to Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Some of the finest and funniest comedians in the country. Stop here first, and you can see them only at Rossi's, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Get ready for a half hour of highlights. It's Rossi's Comedy Showcase. the place to go for comedy and live entertainment Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Laugh your off with some of the funniest comedians from around the country starting at 8.30 p.m. So you can get a seat, come in early. On Friday and Saturday after the great laughs, great music hits the stage with West Michigan's finest bands. And if you're looking for laughs and great entertainment, you know where to come. It's Rossi's. Welcome back, brother. What's your name, man? Do you like ever leave this place or what? Rock on, man. Give it up for Mike, man. He's here supporting comedy. Last two times I've been here, he's been here, man. He's 
He's got the most distinctive laugh. I wanted to take him on tour with me last time because there's a couple of people that are very anal about it. But speaking of anal, my wife had a new baby. <laughs> she usually comes to my shows, but she's out looking for the real father tonight. <laughs> I knew it was my kid. It wasn't my kid because, uh, first of all, I'm not black. <laughs> That was my first clue. <laughs> when we found out my wife was pregnant, she didn't believe the strip at home, so we went to the OBGYN, you know, and the doctor came out and he's like, um, Mr. Kilgore, uh, your wife's pregnant. Congratulations. By any way, do you have a cat? Because why does a doctor want to know if a woman's pregnant has a cat? Can't change a litter box unless you want your kids playing on Special Olympics. Duh! Duh! Mew! It's the truth. Ask him. <laughs> I love that dude. <laughs> anyway, he's like, Mr. Kilgore, you gotta change a cat box. I'm like, come home from a show one night. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I walked through the door and I walked past the litter box. I'm like, I gotta scoop this shit. <laughs> and I want to go scoop it. And don't ever do what I do and piss off the wife and use a pampered chef slotted spoon. Oh no. Don't do that. <laughs> Kinda wonder why the peas are really crunchy when I made dinner. <laughs> so I took the whole litter box, I took it to the bathroom and I just dumped it in the toilet. <laughs> you guys ever scoop away cat litter? When a kitty goes pee pee it makes a concrete brick ball. You can pave your driveway with this. I'm like, oh my God, I just made a cat house break right in my toilet. <laughs> so I carved my initials in it like any other man would do. I'm like, keep your legs crossed. This will never happen again. <laughs> and I walked into my daughter's room. I figured I'd try some new baby talk on her. She's sucking on her bottle, laying in the crib. I'm like, what's up, baby? What you doing? You laying in the crib for his on my his day, yo? Swear to God, my daughter threw the bottle down and goes, oh no, you didn't. Hell no. Oh no, you didn't. A lot of music is going towards rap music. Country music stars are using rap stars like 50 Cent. They don't need it. It's called country for a reason. That's right. Thank you. I like all music because it's diverse. I don't want them splitting together. That's stupid. That's Donnie Marie, man. <laughs> Can you see Elvis Presley if he was alive today and had to deal with all this stuff that's going on in the world and have to keep up with the music industry? All of his songs would be totally different. They'd sound like this. We're smoking some crack. <laughs> and Dr. Dre walked down because Slim Shady is an asshole, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, let me be your Mac Daddy pimping bear. <laughs> <laughs> Put a pager on my hip. I'll follow you everywhere. Oh, give me my dough. You stanky hoe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Where's my happy people at in the house? Where's the married ones at? Ooh, you almost got beat on that one. Hey, married people, have you found out when you talk to your bachelor or bachelorette friends, your conversations start out the same way, but they kind of go a little sideways? Like, for instance, my buddy asked me what I was doing. He's like, Chuck, what are you going to do today? I'm like, I got to get my wife some pads. He's like, good for you, because if I had a girlfriend, I'd walk right into Walgreens, grab them off the shelf. Sorry, ladies, I'm taking, I'm picking up Kotex maxi pads. I'm like, dude, I'm talking about brake pads. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I used to watch my wife do is cracked me up. You ever see a woman put on pantyhose? Oh, my God. That is funny. I oh, used, used to always tell my wife, I said, hey, you want to go somewhere expensive tonight? And I would, she didn't know I was taking her to Shell gas station. But, you know. <laughs> she always lays her outfit on the bed, like her dress and her, her shoes. And then she's got these, like, pantyhose. I'm like, yes. Because I open up the door a little bit and I crack while she, I look, look at her crack. <sighs> wow, I think I hit it too much of the pipe before I come in here. <laughs> I looked at a crack of the door. And watch her put these pantyhose on. She sits on the edge of the bed, and she is so retarded. She puts one foot in, then the other. And I swear to God, she forgets it all the time. She's walking around the room. 
Now she's getting ready to pull these puppies up. Looks like she's fighting a midget from WWF. Too, don't you? <laughs> what the hell's with the squat? What does it do? What does it do? <laughs> Bull you guys fart. That's why you guys want <laughs> trying to get that air bubble out. What you're doing? Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property. In today's market, there's a need for a different kind of real estate company. With the people losing their jobs in West Michigan and the need for savings of their equity, people need to look at alternative ways to sell their home and maybe stay involved themselves. The seller knows the home better than anybody, and they can help to sell the home, and at the same time, save a lot of money on commission. We also have a full service program at a flat rate fee. This also saves you a lot of money. But you get the benefits of having the real estate agent show the property and do the full service. So give us a call. We've had a very interesting relationship, pretty much because I was drunk on the day we got married. <laughs> I'm out in the parking lot drinking with all the, the, the groomsmen. We're getting really loaded out there. And I come back in. Now, my wife thought it'd be a really cool idea for us to write our own wedding vows. <laughs> it kind of helps when you're not so plastered, you forget your... She said hers, and they were really sweet and pretty from what I can remember. And then the minister looks over at me. He's like, Mr. Kilgore, uh, do you have some vows you'd like to, to tell your new wife? I'm like, that's why that's going to be my wife. <laughs> I forgot my poem. <laughs> That's okay, because I make one up right now. I, I love my wife all year long, so I'll call this Love of the Four Seasons. In the springtime, the flowers will bloom. <laughs> Just like my love will always grow for you. Uh-oh. In the summer, the nights will get hot. Just like in the bedroom, and I'll show you. <laughs> in the fall, the trees fall off the leaves. <laughs> Just like I always fall in love with you. <laughs> and... <laughs> In the winter time, the snow falls like white lace. Just like my hit your face. <laughs> Thank you. Another thing, you, you, one thing you cannot use your children for is an intercom system. You cannot, <laughs> you cannot tell a child one, from one room and expect it to get three rooms down in the house to the same parent, the other parent, and all the same sentence. I'm putting the baby down to sleep, feeding her a bottle. The bottle's leaking all over me. I'm like, Courtney, Courtney, come here, come here, come here, come here. do me a favor. Do me a favor. Take this bottle to mom. Tell these old nipples suck and nipples on that bottle. I'm got milk all over me. She goes, okay. She takes the bottle to my wife. She walks into the kitchen. She's like, mom! <laughs> Dad wants his old leaky nipples. <laughs> Anybody ever been to a karaoke bar? Oh, thank you. Cool. Now I got something you want to probably want to do next time you go to one. You guys ever watch all these people uh, sing and stuff? Now, a comic friend of mine from Mexico, we go to these karaoke bars after shows sometimes. And what we do is we play kamikaze karaoke. And how you play this is you pick a song for each other out of the songbook, and you can't use any of the words in the song. You got to make them up as you go. Well, since he got such a strong Mexican accent, I picked Country Boy Can Survive by Hank Williams Jr. for him. <laughs> he gets up on stage he's like, that's right, I'm going to do this, you know. The preacher man says it's a yen a time, and the Mississippi River says gold and dry. <laughs> the interest is up and the stock market's down, and you better buy some beans if you go downtown. <laughs> I 
I live back in East Chicago, you see. The woman and the kids, my amigos and me. <laughs> I got a Chevy Impala and a switchblade knife and a Mexican can survive. Mexicans can survive. I can pick tomatoes all day long. I can eat a jalapeno from dust till dawn. <laughs> Make our own tortillas and our own tamales too. Ain't too many things my amigos can do. <laughs> we make good old manudo from a story about some tripe and a Mexican can survive. Mexicans can survive because we came from the south and now we run. We swam like a fishy to avoid a shotgun. <laughs> we have water in our face and then we hit the sun and then we turn around and say, Rossi's the place to go for comedy and live entertainment. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Laugh your off with some of the funniest comedians from around the country, starting at 8.30 p.m. So you can get a seat, come in early. On Friday and Saturday, after the great laughs, great music hits the stage with West Michigan's finest bands. And if you're looking for laughs and great entertainment, you know where to come. It's Rossi's. All right, first impression, we're going to do um, Billy Bob Thornton from Sling Blade. And Ad Adam Sandler is a water boy looking for something to drink on a farm. <laughs> He's the one cracking me tonight. That's why I'm breaking, because it's... All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> hey, water boy. Mm. I reckon you ain't got nothing to drink there, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, Mrs. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, Mrs. Lee Mason, I got no high quality h at the present time. <laughs> With that cow there, got some pretty big boobies on it. <laughs> mm. I double dare you go suck on that cow's boobies. Mm. Remember that time Bobby Boucher went and sucked that cow's boobies? Hey, water boy, you're going to hell. Mm. That there's a bull. <laughs> I love you, Mike. You're awesome, dude. Actually, we all know that Barney's not really Barney. You know, it's a person inside of Barney, right? Did you guys know who it is? They announced it the other day. Did you guys find out who it is? This little right here. up a tree with a 45 automatic shot him in the head now that purple freak is dead thank you very much i'm chuck kilgore you guys are gonna love fry man he rocks thank you guys love your rossies thank you, brother. keep it going everybody for chuck kilgore Did you guys enjoy that? Obviously. All right, we've been doing this toast for over four years. Please raise your glasses high in the air, everybody. This is to the men and the women of the armed forces of the United States of America for protecting our country and doing their duty. May God bless our troops and may God bless the USA. Salute. If you're only gonna be there for two years, then I would say no, because it's hard to recapture that kind of money in only two years. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property Exchange. We started this company about eight years ago to save people money on commissions in order to sell their home. Many people cannot afford to sell their home with a real estate agent with the commissions that were standard. With our company, people can start off with a commission rate of only 3% to sell their home. We have a variety of programs, including full service and seller assist programs. 
For 3%, we will actually take care of all the advertising, promoting, negotiating, and organizing of the closing. The only difference is the seller shows their own home for 3% commission versus a high commission rate. So give us a call. All right. You guys ready for your headliner? Yeah. All right. After the show, make sure you stick around for cover story. you got a really great band tonight. and hope you have a good time. All right, your headliner tonight, he's one of the uh, few, uh, w probably one of the only white men that you ever see on the BET Comic, co BET Comic View. Also on Comic Central, he's a regular in Vegas. Three USO tours for the troops. Please put your hands together. From St. Louis, the Fry Man. Get loud for him. Here we go for Chuck and Rossi. Come on, let him hear you. Come on, what do you say? Come on. Good to be back in Muskegon, man. Good to be back. Good to be back. How y'all doing? How we doing? We feeling good? Yeah, gas prices are so high, I came in on a moped. <laughs> good to be here. I had a great day. Did y'all have a good day? I spent the day laying in my hotel room smoking pot and watching Lifetime movies like a f I did. <laughs> me and my buddy and two puppets. It was a f hell of a day, let me tell you. It's good to be here. I am the fry man. Two things I like doing. I'm on stage. I like to drink and I like to cuss. Right. I don't offend anybody. People always come up to me after the show. Fry man, you don't have to cuss to be funny. I was telling the same thing. Yeah. And you don't have to be between a pair of butt cheeks being an Thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to buckle up, Grandma. She's going to get a lot worse. Here we go. <laughs> Spent all last night at your bar. <laughs> and I'm a little grumpy because I was dancing in high heels all night long. <laughs> I didn't mind that too much, but that string in my butt really bothered me. Oh, why do they call it a G string? They should call it a brown string. You know what I'm saying, man? This good to be here. What a beautiful, crazy-ass world we live in, though, man. Kobe Bryant's playing basketball. Michael Jackson's making music. OJ's out on the golf course. Thank God we locked up Martha Stewart, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you never know when that old is gonna crochet a sweater and suffocate somebody. <laughs> Been doing comedy for 14 years. I've learned a lot on the road. I learned that ugly people want to have sex, too. But if you're gonna have sex with an ugly person, don't take them to the Motel 6. Yeah, because they leave the light on. <laughs> yeah. I ain't lying, I'm in the Motel 6, yanking on chains, flicking switches, clapping my hands, and nothing. Come on, Tom Bodet, kill the lights. I'm Quasimodo in here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, man? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right, farting church heckler. All right, get. <laughs> if I knew it was going to be so much fun, I'd have brought my girlfriend, but I didn't have time to blow her up. <laughs> <laughs> She's a doll, Blondie. She's doing. <laughs> yeah. attention. <laughs> so I have done three USO tours for the troops. What do you think of that? Huh? God love the troops. Yeah, God love the troops. <laughs> I believe whether you like the war or not, you got to support the troops, the men and the women. You got to take care of them, support them. <laughs> That's right. And you can't tell by looking at me, but I spent three years in the United States Marine Corps, man. <laughs> yeah, I, they kicked me out, though. <laughs> Apparently, you can't smoke pot marching her parade. That's the deal. Then we got the politicians on TV going, this war in Iraq is going to turn into another Vietnam. Well, that will never happen. You know why? Because you can't grow pot in the sand, people. <laughs> Not unless you're a farmer from Michigan and you know MacGyver. That's the only way. Because <laughs> some of you are looking at me going, I can grow pot in the sand. I've done it. I've done it.
And last time I was overseas, man, while I was there, they had a big anthrax scare while I was there. And, and people overseas are afraid of anthrax. People in America are afraid of anthrax. I really want to be the guy they call when they think they found anthrax. I think that'd be a great job. They're like, Fry, man, we found this white powder in an envelope. We don't know what it is. Well, step aside, everybody. Step aside. <laughs> I'm like, is that the culprit? They're like, yeah, you think it's anthrax? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, that's some class A chip right there. I'm going to take that with me and do some further testing back at the lab. Because you remember the good old days when you found white powder and envelope just meant you had a buddy on spring break in Miami? Remember that? <laughs> Those were the good old days. And you think the airports here are screwed up? You got to go overseas, man, to get on a plane. I'm walking through Frankfurt, Germany. They got the dogs just lined up, people. Different dogs. Dogs are lined up like in a row for different shit. They got like a bomb dog and a pot dog, coke dog, a hooker dog. I saw a Snoop dog up in that <laughs> <laughs> He's a rapper, Blondie, the Snoop dog. <laughs> Snoop dog was hanging out with a pot dog. Go figure, right? I was hanging out with a bomb dog because I just had a couple of chalupas. I was ready to explode. <laughs> like, we ain't got no shit to worry about. We climb on a plane, right? We got to worry about it breaking down. We got to worry about Osama blowing it up. Now we got new shit to worry about. Pilots are getting liquored up. Have you heard this? Yeah, they're having cocktails in the cockpit. <laughs> and they're worried about the pot in my underwear. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm in row 33. I'm not flying to my. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm not even getting my weed out. I'm trying to sneak it to the next destination. <laughs> Why don't you go up in the front and check where the steering wheel's at? There's an idea, huh, Sparky? <laughs> I think we need to put a tube in the cockpit and make the pilots blow in the tube before they can fire that jumbo jet up. <laughs> yeah, there's a little idea from the fat drunk stoner comedy guy, huh? And don't tell me you can't put a tube in the cockpit of a plane. I know you can, because I have one in my car in the parking lot, okay? <laughs> Shit ain't funny. <laughs> you should see me after the show. I'm walking around from girl to girl. Can you come out to my car and blow on something for me for just a second? <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Don't miss it every week on WMKG at 7.30 every Monday. Or catch the comedians live at Rossi's every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, starting at 8.30 p.m. It's all at Rossi's Comedy at its best. If you're only going to be there for two years, then I would say no, because you, you, it's hard to recapture that kind of money in only two years. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property Exchange. We started this company about eight years ago to save people money on commissions in order to sell their home. Many people cannot afford to sell their home with a real estate agent with the commissions that were standard. With our company, people can start off with a commission rate of only 3% to sell their home. We have a variety of programs including full service and seller assist programs. For 3%, we will actually take care of all of the advertising, promoting, negotiating, and organizing of the closing. The only difference is the seller shows their own home for 3% commission versus a high commission rate. So give us a call.